All right. First of all, Johnny Majors has to be rolling over in his grave. I mean, what in the name of General Nealon is going on at Knoxville? Jeremy Pruitt, former Tennessee mm. head coach, uh, says he gave a player's family some money out of guilt over the George mm. Floyd deal. People laughed. Uh, I think they say he provided $300 and a Chick-fil-A bag. And he, he, his excuse was it was partially out of guilt over the George Floyd deal. Some people hear that and think, man, what a lame excuse. I hear it and go, oh, I can buy that. I wouldn't have done it, but I can buy that. I, I could buy some white guy feeling so much shame during the George Floyd deal that, uh, you know, What's he? I've seen people on camera drop to their knees and put up a, a, a fist power sign or power or whatever it is or bow to Colin Kaepernick. I've seen people do all kinds of weird crap trying to virtue signal during the George Floyd deal. Giving three hundred dollars to somebody doesn't sound like the craziest act of white guilt that's gone on over the last five to ten years. All right. First of all, Johnny Majors has to be rolling over in his grave. I mean, what in the name of General Nealon is going on in Knoxville? I'm going to go a certain way. Let, let, let me just cook here, okay? Uh, and Merrill Kim wants to get going. First of all, it's like what you once a couple years ago. Black recruits matter, okay? And if they can run a 4-3 or bend off the edge and get to the quarterback a lot, they really matter. So let's just be honest. Uh, Mr. Pruitt was just paying for the going rate. Now, if it was in a Chick-fil-A bag, there's two things. Maybe that's the original NIL deal. And the other thing is, as long as that Chick-fil-A bag was not given on a Sunday, it's okay. It's okay. Then they're observing the rules of Chick-fil-A. But this is the biggest issue I have with Jeremy Pruitt and why if the University of Kim would never hire this guy. Because if he was interviewing with me, I'd be like, hey, Jeremy, let me ask you something. You did all of this, right? All of this. You couldn't win. Josh Heupel's gotten right in there, and he's revved up our program. Go Vols. I, I look at Jeremy Pruitt and say, Jeremy, if you can't do better by doing this, you, you should actually just get a new job. That's the, it's not, the embarrassment is not that he did all of that. Because let's just face it. It's the SEC. They take football serious. God bless them. They have their priorities in order. But the fact that the volunteers – were that bad with all of this, it, that's the indictment, Jason. Really, that's the indictment I, that you could I'm going to throw it. St Steve, hold for one second. I'm going to throw a curveball because I, I, I should have thought of it this morning. But there's a take on all this I really want to hear from. And yeah. so, David Reed, if you can come out here, if we can mic David Reed up. We, we, we don't need to change cameras around at all. But, you know, we got uh, one of our, to our, our top producer, David Reed, is a huge Tennessee Vol homer. I'm sure he's going to have a take on this that I would love to hear, and I should have thought of it this morning so we wouldn't have to wait. But, it, see, if you can help me kill another 60 seconds yeah, here while please. we wait on David Reed, continue hey, with your take. Show, but I'm willing to go here. But I, I don't get this with, with Josh Heupel. I mean, look, I'm not naive to think all of a sudden everything's above board. But maybe it is now. They played. They paid a lot for this freshman quarterback, millions of dollars. But but Jeremy Pruitt, I was reading his wife was even involved. Now I will give her credit. Now that's a good football wife. When you are part of the recruiting <laughs> efforts to that degree, Jeremy, you picked a winner. You picked a winner. But Jeremy, I'm sorry, you're just meant to be a coordinator. I'm just telling you, your days as a head coach over. Would never hire that guy. But okay, address my contention though that at least part of his motivation was George Floyd guilt. Oh, I oh, buy it. I, oh, I, I, I honestly, I buy it. Part of it. I'm not saying it's the full deal, but part of his motivation is like, man, you know, I bet you these guys would love a little Chick-fil-A with $300. Make them, make them feel better about George right. Floyd. All right, Jason, it's obviously when your teeth fell out as a kid, you must have put your molars underneath your pillow and had a five spot the next morning. Really, you're buying that. <laughs> yes. What Jeremy yes. Pruitt 
was the going rate for a player of his caliber. If this was a four-star player, he gets 300. Now, if he was a five-star player, probably would have got five to 600. It's the going rate. I mean, do you really think that there was a George Floyd inflation in terms of the recruiting budget at UT? Yeah, oh, my. Jay. Well, Jay, no. Well, David Reed's got money tied up in the, in the Tennessee uh, athletic program, so he's yeah. a better expert than you and I would. You buying any of the George Floyd guilt? Yes, because this is a guy who uh, he's from the state of Alabama. So um, some of the stereotypes about people in the state of Alabama are true. <laughs> and that's been the case with Jeremy. My first introduction to Jeremy Pruitt was back on MTV, back on the reality show Two A Days that followed the, the high school program um, down in Alabama. And I remember him out at a meal with someone. And he didn't know what asparagus was. He was seeing asparagus for the first time at like 30 years old and asked what it was. So as soon as this hire was made, I thought, this is, this is not the dude for the job in Knoxville. This is not going to end the decade of, of just atrocious football that was going on. So You I, really weren't on board from day one? No, no, I was not. I could tell. Didn't he have, the, he, didn't he have a Nick Saban pedigree? Or no? Yes, and here it, it's funny you bring that up because I had my only interaction ever with Jeremy Pruitt was – uh, before the Florida game a couple years back. And we were going down on the field and we got in the elevator with Jeremy Pruitt. And the guy who was taking us there um, saw Jeremy coming down and knew we were gonna be elevated with him. He's like, hey, don't, don't say anything to Coach Pruitt. He doesn't like to be talked to. So he has a Saban complex with none of the pedigree, none of the pelts on the wall that Nick Saban has. So that's uh, that was another that made me feel really good that I was my uh, judgment on him, my snap judgment on him, was was the right one. But no, it does not surprise me whatsoever. It's embarrassing. Like I'm ready to move on from this. Uh, I want to act like this never happened. I want to act like he was never hired. That there was never Chick Fil A bags or McDonald's bags or Taco Bell bags being handed out to some of the most mediocre talent that's ever walked through Knoxville and not even seeing any results on the field whatsoever. Uh, let me, I'm afraid to ask you this question. You get the wrong answer and I could get upset. Brady Hoke, Jeremy Pruitt, who you like? Oh, oh my gosh. Hoke. <laughs> Hoke. This is easy. Uh, Brady Hoke won. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I wasn't opposed to that at the time. Brady Tim. Hope won at San Diego State consistently. He's made them a solid program. Michigan, it didn't work out, but he actually had a good year. Here's the thing with Jeremy Pruitt. Him not liking or knowing what asparagus is, as far as I'm concerned, that's a plus. If you want to coach in the SEC, <laughs> if you don't know what asparagus is, you know what? You might be our type of guy. By the way, two-a-days, wasn't that about Hoover High with Rush Pope Proops or something? That was an interesting show. But – Jeremy Pruitt, look, you take away Kirby is smart. The Saban tree has been really not that good. Like what you saw? Hit that like button, subscribe, and check out the full episode by clicking the link below.